Hello and welcome to The Money Tree. I'm David Holt. And I'm David Marks. And we are certainly glad that you joined us today. How many episodes is this now? Seven? This is number seven. How about that? My favorite number. <laughs> Perfect number, right? I love it. Yeah. Uh, it's an early morning recording for us today and uh, we're not quite there. Uh, coffee just hasn't kicked in yet. <laughs> just hasn't kicked in. <laughs> We've only had to start twice. But we're really glad that you tuned in and joined us today. How's your week, bud? It's It's been pretty good. You know, we're trying to wrap everything up for graduation and scholarships, and we had a student sign with Sneed State yesterday, so we're going to be giving out some money to some students next week, which always makes me happy. I say we. It's organizations and colleges, things like that. And So it's been, it's been a pretty good week. How about yours? Uh, busy. <laughs> yes, I understand that. I've been somewhere almost every day, but it's a good week, and uh, I'm thankful to be up another morning. Yes. And, uh so we're just excited to be here, and we appreciate you guys tuning in, hearing some really good things about the money tree. Absolutely. And uh, David here is the genius behind it, and I'm just the uh, sidekick. I, the one that uh, has to answer all the questions, and don't I don't appear very smart sometimes. Well, I'll, I'll help you with one question. Didn't <laughs> I see you in that shirt Sunday morning? Uh, Yes, you might have. Did you go to church Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yes, uh, yes, it's called Recycle. Well, it's you know the great thing about being in education a lot of times is you can uh, take that shirt and hang it back up and use it. Hey, when the ladies would come in on Sunday, uh, Monday morning at school in the dress, that's like mm, recycling yep. that from yesterday, yeah. right? Yeah. Most yeah. time would be yes. I've done that several times. <laughs> Saves you money. Hey, Save we're talking about water. saving so. money, and that's one less thing you have to wash. Right, that is that is. Now we don't want you to wear dirty clothes, but you know right. if you just have it on for a few minutes, well maybe you could wear it again. Yeah, I mean, what's the you know two hours maybe on Sunday? You know, I always heard you're not supposed to wash your blue jeans. You're supposed to wear them several times before you wash. Is that true? <laughs> I, I don't know. I always wash mine afterwards. I actually uh, read online. Which you, uh, you know, the internet. Sometimes. It is always the truth. Everything on Facebook, especially, is true. <laughs> on our show. So if you look at that though, they had they said that you're actually supposed to put your jeans in the freezer. Something about I saw that. I, I don't know. If, I never I, tried it. I haven't done that either. I just there's no room in my freezer. Well, I couldn't imagine you know a DiGiorno pizza, some chicken to fry. There's my jeans. So I knew I put them somewhere. So I just couldn't imagine. Can you imagine putting them on on a cold morning? Oh, I don't think that'd work. That would not be fun. So, so we're here with the money tree. So what are you going to tell us about today? Well, we have an awesome episode, I think, today kind of planned out for everyone. As you know, we have talked about a plethora. Oh my gosh, that's the, and, that means and, a lot, right? Yes, and that is... Why don't you just use normal words? Seven o'clock in the morning, plethora. There you plethora. go. Okay. But we're going to talk about a variety of things as, with the money tree as we already have. So today we're going to talk to you about something that is near and dear to my heart, which is something that will help people who are buried in their debt, and they need to get out of that debt. So we're going to try to help you structure a way or develop a plan, we might say, that will help you eliminate some of that debt and have some financial freedom. Well, let me ask you a question. You know, you see all these ads all the time about if you're drowning in debt, call us, mm -hmm. we'll help you out. Right. So is it, are we kind of the same people? We're just free and now you got to pay? Well... Kind of, because let's say that a lot of people, where do you think a lot of the holdings of unsecured debt would be with, with households? Probably credit cards. Credit cards would be the biggest item. So what Hey, I, I got one right. You did good. <laughs> you did very good. I'm learning. He is. I'm learning. He's catching on so fast. So the thing about this is, is if you call one of those services, a lot of times what they do is they find a way to get you a loan to help you pay off your credit card debt. But what they do, or what they, you know, they'll tell you this, but what they don't tell you in the advertisement is that they will actually freeze your credit card accounts, which can impact your credit score, can, you know, cause it to fall. And we want to keep that credit score as high as possible. So it's always good to have a low debt to income ratio. Mm -hmm. Even though you may be restructuring and trying to pay off that debt on that credit card for just a household, I think it's better to try to tackle that on your own if you can. So technically, you could possibly go to a local bank or something and get a loan and pay off those credit cards and put those credit cards in a free a cup of water and freeze it. There, you there, know, there, so you can't get to it and use it. There's two different methods. Some people will actually take their credit card, they'll put it in a cup of water, freeze it in the freezer in case they ever need access to it. If their, you know, husbands or like wife, that's it, or wife is like husband, that's it. They're cutting them off. They'll actually cut that thing up. 
They may shred it. In little pieces? Little bit of pieces. <laughs> it may go in the composter. I don't know. <laughs> I yeah. think it'd take a while to degrade, don't it, you? It probably would since it's plastic. Okay. So I didn't mean to get off on that. No, that, that is a, you know, here's what we do here. We have a variety of things we talk about. So we may chase rabbits, not literally, but figuratively. Gotcha. So that's a good way to look at it is when you have a question, we want to ask that. Now, okay. of course, I definitely do not know many answers, but we work through it. So with a plethora of questions. With a plethora of questions. <laughs> I love Good it. Well, I knew the word. I just don't use my, it very often. My challenge to you today is you have to use that word five times, no, ten times at ten. least before the day's up. So before the day's up, okay, yeah. but not this recording. So right, okay, just just the day's up. Okay, so if you're buried in debt, what is one way that you think you could get out of that besides contacting a debt consolidation service or watching Money Tree? Which we want you to do. Well, the thing that pops in my mind would not would be the easy way out when people go file bankruptcy. Right, and bankruptcy is is typically not the option you want to take because bankruptcy is just basically saying I can't manage my money. I've spent more than I can ever pay back. And when you file bankruptcy, of course, there's different kinds of bankruptcy, and sometimes people can't help that. But when you file bankruptcy, there's sometimes seven year penalties that you can't borrow money. Mm -hmm. It destroys your credit, which tends to flow into a, a bad path later on because now you're looking at, well, you want to go buy a car because you lost yours in bankruptcy. Well, you're going to pay 22% interest on that automobile, which mm -hmm. is never, never a good Never idea. a good thing. No, it's not. So, you know. Bad option if you don't have to take it. Bad option if you don't have to take it. What we're going to try to do is help people see where their money's going and how they can start taking the money they have incoming to their mm -hmm. household and spending it a little more wisely. Right. So we're going to help you. If you're buried in debt, hopefully we can help you dig out from there. It won't take, if you didn't get there overnight, sure. you're not going to get out overnight. It's sure. not a quick fix. In our society today, we drive up to the drive through We want food right, right then. then. We are drive through society. Yeah, and when you don't know the answer to a question, the cell phone, hey Siri, or whatever, sure. you want those immediate responses. So this is something that's going to take a little bit of time, and you have to work through as a process. This would be what I would call crock pot finances. <laughs> That's a good one. And I just come up with that just like right, right Crock here. pot finances. finances. Because you don't put stuff in a crock pot and five minutes later take it out and eat it. True. You know, you'll cook it for four more hours. Well, so. my analogy was thinking a beach body. You know, I don't have one yet. But right. I'm, but I you're could, getting there, right? I'm walking. By July. Walking. You never know. Yeah. So if we can, we have a, a slide to look at here okay. that's going to recap some number for us. In this slide, we see that 38% of homes spend more than they bring in, 38%. So that actually means that there's 38% of households, and, and this is nationally, that spend more money every month than they're gonna bring into that household, which is what we would call a deficit mm -hmm. in the financial world. And of course, these statistics come from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, so this is not just something that we just went around and polled our friends, and they're like, right. yeah, I do. You know, this is something that, that are tied to data. All right, 63000 as we've talked about before, $784 is the average yearly household cost. Mm -hmm. So that means if that's the average cost, 38% of the households that would have that $63,000 is spending more than that. More than that. So, you know, you, you're starting to see the staggering numbers with how much people actually finance away right. with yeah. what they do. Um, another good fact about that is that 21% of the households in America save less than $10,000 a year. So we really need another zero on that slide. Yes. <laughs> yes. I didn't know if it was $10 or now nah, it's 10000 Yeah, and that's so. a typo. And you know what? That's what happens when you let counselors make PowerPoints. <laughs> so my bad, folks. And then 9%, I did get the right zero on this one, 9% save over $50,000 in a year. In a year. Well, I like the title, Planting Your Money Tree, because yes. that's what we're doing. We're trying to help people get that money tree growing right. and be a healthy tree. Well, and just like you said, it's a time process. You know, we're not going to go put, I planted watermelons last Saturday. So, you know, I'm not going to put those seeds in the ground last Saturday and today go out and be like, oh, there they are. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. that would be great. So what what uh, brand of watermelon or just uh, whatever you All sweets. Find? was the majority in Amazons are the two that I planted. Okay. So there we may have some deals on uh, watermelon. That's right. At least family will get to enjoy them, right? <laughs> That's and our cameraman, good. hopefully he'll yeah, get to have camera one guy. if he likes it. 
He likes that idea, I think. So you see that where there is a large group of people, almost 40% mm -hmm. spending more than they make, and then you have 21% that are saving less than $10,000 a year. So we're really not doing a good job of managing our money well in, in America per household. Now that means that there's people who are, doesn't mean everyone's not, right. but for the most part, and that, and that savings includes their retirement plans. Wow. So you see where that really makes a difference. And where it's going to hit home is with people who are making, you know, uh, probably less than $10 an hour. And as you know, graduations mm -hmm. are coming up and I've sat down with a lot of my students and I've told them, hey, you know, your future is going to be so hard if you do not finish high school. And when you finish high school, if you don't look to go into a trade field. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we want to help prepare the younger generation for finding a job that's going to pay them enough to save money. Well, that was the exact day. same thing we did yesterday at the Coliseum with Transition Rocks Career Event. Uh, and, and the Department of Labor, one of their top 40 things of jobs that are hot jobs coming up, there's a huge section that are people who have a high school diploma or less. Right. Now, those salaries are not right. very high, right. but depending on your education, you can at least get a job if you want one. Sure. I mean, sure. there's job postings every day, a second job. You know, that could be something we can talk about, people picking be. up a second sure. job sure. to help work on your finances. You know, if you're strapped, maybe you might want to look at a weekend job or a, sure. a second shift job. I know, you know, many people have to do and that. I started to say, as educators, we've both done that. I still do it. And I still do it, too, you know. So, actually worked until about 11.30 last night. Really? Yeah. yeah. But you're so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed this well, morning. Well, it'll probably catch up with me by this afternoon. <laughs> it'll probably catch up. Nap time It'll be. I see a recliner coming in my future. So, getting back to this, um, when we see the numbers that are being spent, we know that is a lot. Mm -hmm. And as we've talked about last week when we recorded, we want to help you to develop a good way to start managing where your money's going. Because if you have a water leak and you just go and find a random you know, PVC pipe in your house and replace it, that's not going to stop your leak. Yeah. You've got to find the source of where that leak's coming from and then make the repairs there. So what we have developed, and this is on a second slide we'll look at here. Okay. This is uh, something we've developed here for the money tree, and uh, it's an Excel sheet that you can download. It will have it uh, through our website, which is davidomarch.com forward slash money hyphen tree. And, of course, it's on the Facebook page, too, where you can find that. But what this does is it helps you track your expenses. It's going to help you, uh, you know, see where your money's going. And it's just a, a, a budget analyzer, basically, mm -hmm. where you can plan and you can budget and you can do those things. And notice the graph at the top corner. You get to see some pretty pictures. That's right. You Hopefully do. they'll be good pictures. When you Yes, when you put your expenses in, say your mortgage, it's going to show you a picture of a house as it breaks that data down. Mm -hmm. So it's going to break that down. Because we do want to have those free downloads for people to use, but we also want you to take time to analyze your spending. Because let's just say, for example, that you are overspending in your household. And you're like, gosh, I don't know why. We're, we're out of money and I can't understand where it all went. Well, you might have paid your mortgage and your water bill, power bill, things like that. But you didn't realize you spent $400 on eating out, dining out. And you can do that really quickly. Yes. yes. People don't realize how much money they spend at a drive through It goes very fast. Well, sometimes, and I, you know, not to... to Try to pull away from businesses, but sometimes it's better to make your cup of coffee at home than to go through. I did that this morning. Yeah. Our camera guy did not, but right. I did that this morning. <laughs> well, and, and sometimes, you know, it is more convenient and, you know, you can plan for that, which is kind of what we're going to talk about today. Okay. It's how you can plan for swinging through that drive through and you can get that cup of coffee that you like. Because I may, I drink my coffee black usually, but you may want that macchiato or that flavored <laughs> cappuccino whatever you know i like my mocha. coffee that's like a little hot chocolate you know a little sweet yeah. a little hot a little anyway so you like the variety of it right uh well yes sort okay. of. mine's like my personality better <laughs> so <laughs> better and strong <laughs> so, so let's, let's don't get too carried away bitter okay. is a good word Maybe you should Strong. use, <laughs> Maybe you should use bitter ten times today instead of plethora. Okay, I'll try to do that. That's my challenge too. Okay. So we want you to download those resources at davidomarch.com forward slash money hyphen tree and we, or on the Facebook page to help you start analyzing your finances. Mm -hmm. That is very important. So now getting to our main meat of our discussion. Okay. okay. 
we're going to talk about a way that you can start tracking your finances in a very practical way. And I even have a gift for you today to do this. A gift? I do have a gift. I like gifts. So someone might ask, what is an envelope system? What is an envelope system? He, I'm really he, curious about that. He did great that. this week. Last week we kind of had a little It took me a little while last week. Yeah. I'm catching on. He's getting he, smarter. He's doing great. So here's what the envelope system is. It's literally envelopes. And okay. See, I, have I even, like the first I one. I have, have even given one called fun money. This is where your, I guess maybe you could put your McDonald's drive through half chi cha cha Mocha latte, grande, Listen, espresso. It, all it is is one, two Splenda, one cream. I mean, that's just, okay. you know, it's not like this funky name. Everybody tells me these, and I can't remember when I go to the drive through so I don't get them. That's why I had to make it up. Okay. Because I wasn't sure. Okay. So, these envelopes, okay, will help you to take your money. Now, first, let, let's make something clear here, and I believe that we have a slide to look at. Okay. If we can do that. Our third slide. So looking at this third slide, let's just go over quickly what um, the envelope system, how we want it to structure and work, and then we can get into the fun part of it, okay? Okay. This is for budgeting for mandatory expenses first. So the envelopes are not necessarily what you would use that for. Okay. Because you budget for your mortgage and for your utilities. Those things are something that may be automatically drafted, mm -hmm. or you may write a check for, but that's something that you're going to include in your budget, your hard budget. Okay. What the envelope system is going to be is for all other expenses. So gotcha. as I put on the slide there, all other expenses, envelope it. Envelope it. Envelope it. And that's, okay. that was very hard for me to say this morning. So let's just look at some of the things you may use that for. Okay. Gas, dining out, clothing, hobbies, movies. Would that be like golfing for my son? Golfing would be one of those. Okay. You add in your own. So let's look at the ones that I have for David this morning. Okay. I have him a fun money account. We like fun money. Dining out. That's going to have to be really big because when we go out to eat, it's like the whole family goes whole family. with me. and I need a, a bigger envelope for that. So that one's probably a little too small, right? We'll take it there right now. It, 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 we'll talk about why it's this size in a little bit. Okay. We don't want, you know... Clothing. Now, I'm a bargain shopper, so that wouldn't be bad. But it still matters, though, True. Be because this is going to be part of the budgetary process of the envelope. Okay. So smart shopping will help keep that envelope yep. thin. Now, this is one that some people will like to flex on. Okay. And they may say, well, I use my debit card for purchasing my automobile gas. But you have to go inside to pay with cash. Right. So... If you decide not to use gasoline, I still made this one, but it's not something that would be mandatory because that one may flex. Why? Because gas prices change. Yes. And you need to shop around. There's great apps that can help you find cheaper right. gas. Right. And, you know, also travel changes depending on what you do, depending mm -hmm. on where you go. It's, hard. it's really hard to budget gasoline. You could take an average, but that still doesn't give you an exact number. So if I just wanted to go to Huntsville to eat, I got to factor in that I've got to pay for the gas to get there and the gas to get well, back. What you could, Plus the fun money envelope for sure. Food. Well, not well, that or the dining out. Dining out, yeah. So you, see, this is where you get to diversify it the way that you want to. Okay. Maybe your travel for, let's say, fun time travel can go in this one where work gasoline might be separate. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And of course, the last one I had made you was this biggie. Well, since my boys have moved out, that's not such a big deal anymore. I mean, we it, our, our grocery list, our grocery bill is much less than that. But the reason why we use the envelope system, and we'll just start with, I don't know, let's say fun money. We'll come to it in just a moment. Let's just start with dining out. Dun, da, da, da. All right. What you want to do is you want to pay your mandatory mandatory expenses first. I'm okay. not sure what mandatory is. That's a made up word, I guess. Mandatory expenses come first. Okay. So after you do that, you take the cash on hand left over minus oh, what you want to put in savings. The cash on hand. Is there supposed to be cash left? Yes. <laughs> this goes back to the 40% of households spend more than uh, money. Okay. Remember, okay. we're trying to take your money and make it stretch out to keep you from spending more. Now, if you have credit card debt, one of the best things you can do, and I would recommend this to anyone, is to try to find a credit card with a 0% interest rate that you can transfer that debt to mm -hmm. and pay that off faster. Because if your credit card has a 16 to 24% interest rate, you're getting hammered on that compound. How do you find a credit card with 0% interest? Online is the best really? way. Really? Yes. And I, I would recommend that someone download like Credit Karma. It is free, as the commercials say. And I use Credit Karma, and it updates monthly. 
So Credit Karma will actually look at your credit score, they'll look at what you have, and they'll actually have offers for you that might be in your best interest. Really? Yes. So let's say that you... Credit Karma, an app on your phone. It is an app to download. And you can take that app, and let's say that you had $2,000 in credit card debt, and you're paying a 12% interest rate on your credit card, which is fairly low for a credit card. Credit Karma will actually show you offers, that's what they call it, where there may be a credit card that offers you a 0% introductory rate for 12 months and a 0% trans, you know, transfer fee for the money you have. Now, a lot of them don't charge 0% for both, but they'll show you and they'll actually let you go through and look at those. Wow. So, so there's ways to find that's that. That's a good app. You know, it is a good app. So the first thing's first. If you have credit card debt, that's the first thing we want to eliminate. I mean the first thing because credit card debt is, is just like a leech on your bank account Mm -hmm. because of the interest rate. It just, it's murderous. Now, I have one because what if I travel and I get somewhere and I have a major emergency? Your car breaks down. Your car breaks down, your tires go flat, whatever it may be. Of course, you want to have money in savings, but a lot of times it's more accessible to use that credit card and then pay that off. Mm -hmm. So we want you to pay off balances every month, even if you have that or travel, whatever. Or... Your and I job both will require us to travel. Like we have to go, I have to go to the Alabama State Counseling Conference. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll I have be there. Okay, right. So you know, there's eight hundred dollars in expenses right there. Boom, that you have to mm-hmm. pay, pay up front, up front, and get reimbursed and for. Be it. reimbursed. So it's a good way to do that too. So the dining out, you take that money left over. Whether you know, and we live in a digital world. We never see cash or paychecks that goes directly to the bank. Mm-hmm. You have direct deposit. But what I would recommend you do is take the cash on hand minus your savings. So after you pay your necessary expenses, then put into savings 8%. If you can, after you've taken out your tithe too, and the money left over, write yourself a check for a little bit less than that amount. Okay. All right. From that cash that you write yourself to and you withdraw, that's what goes in these envelopes. Okay. And when this money, now, the thing about the envelope system is if you, you know, abuse it, if you say, well, I'll just go over this month. If you use the money. So if I want to take out of here and put in there? No, that's transferable. Okay, I can do that. What I'm saying is if you have spent everything in your clothing budget or envelope for the month, and then you turn around and you're like debit card, debit card, debit card, credit card, then this system's not going to help you eliminate that debt. This has to be a very stringent plan to try to get you out of the hole, out of the financial crevice. Situation. And that's what we're here to help you do. Get Absolutely. out of the debt situation that you're in so you can manage your money better sure. and more wisely to do things that you want to do later. Sure. And this is something that, you know, I, I made these with a printer at home. Do you have to use a printer? No, you can literally take envelopes and just write dining with out a on there. pen on the outside. Sure. And the good thing about it is, and this is why they're this size, you don't want to put probably anything but cash in here. I would recommend the change that you would have left over from your expenditures and put that in a bank somewhere to start saving for other funds. Oh, like a, a jar of change and yes. stuff. Yes. I got one of those. Save, save that for vacations or for savings accounts or you know, whatever. It's amazing how much uh, change you can accumulate you will. over a year. You will. And you know, we throw them down in the little ashtray in between the mm-hmm. seats. You yes. occasionally need to get all that out and put it in the big jar. Sure, sure. The or big... my daughter tries to die when I go through a drive through and I'm digging for change because I've got quarters everywhere. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to ask you something. Oh my gosh. Have you ever been in line behind someone in any kind of st- you know brick and mortar store and they've had like three cents they're digging for and just yeah. want to pay for it to, just so you can move on yes i've offered to do that before here here's here's a dime yeah here's 50 cents. i've just been like just here whatever you're so, just trying to be they think you're being nice but you're just impatient i am impatient sometimes okay so here's we the got thing. to move on to we, our stock market we do we're gonna do that real quick so make your envelopes okay yeah put your money in here after you've taking everything out and when you've done that start living it just only buy these okay only buy these i appreciate the gift today Mm -hmm. i've just got to figure out um how to best organize my reserve yes my after my savings Mm -hmm. and see what i but i'm going to tell you my children are going to want this to be um a fat one well you need to give your children one too 
you know, I wonder if I could just give them, the, you know, I've seen the commercial where the son says, Dad, let me take the bill. That, that's that doesn't happen. happen. That happened once or twice with my children. Maybe it'll happen. Father's Day is coming up. You know, it's Mother's Day weekend. Take your mom out to eat. Oh, I'm doing that. You know, so. And my wife, too. Yeah. We're and winning. my kids. Yeah. There you go. So. And my fun money, my dining out money will be gone. Will be gone. Mm-hmm. Well. But thank you very much. But when much. it's gone, what do you do? I don't spend it anymore. Right. We're going to eat at home. You can transfer from one to the other, but when it's gone, it's gone. All right. So now stock let's talk market. about our stock market. Um, this week has been kind of a volatile week. I mean, it's not like it's been huge ups and downs, but we've seen some... Volatile? We've seen some pullback on the market okay. this week. You know, okay. events that took place when they had the newly elected president in France, the market kind of boop, 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 took a bump and... Now, Did you do that again? Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> so, it's a little sound effects there. So now, uh, that's right, that's right. So now it has pulled back a little bit, but we do have five companies I'd like for us to look at. I actually updated the price on the slides may not be right. what they are because I updated the prices myself this morning to give you an idea. The first one is UT Starcom, and we're going to look at our uh, PowerPoint slide for stocks. And the first one we're looking at is UT Starcom Holdings, that symbol is UTSI. And the price is two twelve, two dollars and twelve cents. And what I've done with these stocks is I've tried to find some that were cheaper stocks. And last week we looked at some that were higher priced. Right. These are some that you just This is more my with. my style, what I can afford. Right. Now this company is poised to post quarterly estimated growth of one hundred percent. Wow. So there. You know, do you remember the old flip phones that that you yep. had? That's that's who makes those. They're looking at revamping their system and they're working on new wireless technologies that they're. Th- looking at growing. My flip phone worked good for many years. The UT Starcom phones were pretty good. The next one is PC Tail Incorporated. PCTI is their uh, is their symbol. Now, when I created this PowerPoint, it was at $8.18 a share. Mm-hmm. This morning when I checked it, it's at $6.50 a share. Wow. So it has taken a little bit of a drop. But this one, if you know, it might be a good time to buy in because they have gained more than 13% over the last 12 months and they offer a 3% dividend return. Okay. So this would be something that... Well, 3% it, return is better than you're making at a savings account. It is. money somewhere. It is. It is. It is. Uh, the next one that I looked at here in, in is Papa Murphy's Holdings. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is, you've probably heard this, F-R-S-H, fresh might be a way we think of that, is mm-hmm. the symbol for that. Because you get it fresh out of the thing and cook it, it, and, take cook it. it. and cook it, right. And, you know, is that technically eating out? Well, that would be eating at home. That would be part of your grocery budget. Okay. So there you go. Just making sure. Estimated calls for the growth of this company are 31% for the year. Wow. So 31% growth for a company in a year is That's some, really some good. good growth. Mm-hmm. And who doesn't love pizza? I do. We don't have a Papa Murphy's in our area. I don't think we do, but you, you love it. So it's good you can pizza. drive to Huntsville and buy one. <laughs> Well, that's going to take a lot of the guests, but I'm just saying. Maybe we'll make a trip for clothing. <laughs> when you pick clothing up and Papa Murphy's. There you go. And you see, when you own stock in a company and you support that company, then you're just paying yourself. More money, more money. That's right. So you'd have to buy a lot of pizza to do that, though, unless you owned a lot of stock. So Zags is the next one. Now, this company, something that has revolutionized our life is these little devices right here. Well, I say little, mine's like... Those kids at school make fun of me because well, no, of that. they can't look at the slide and your cell phone at the same time. Right. Well, maybe he's pulled away from the slide. Maybe okay. he has. I don't know. But these devices right here <clears throat> have changed our life. Zags makes these protective covers. They're a really? lower cost cover than maybe like an OtterBox or a LifeProof. Mm-hmm. But those covers that they make, they're growing in the year. They make all kind of electronic devices, uh, protective products. Kind of like an off-brand. Kind of like an off-brand. Gotcha. And it's at eight seventy-five Now, when I created the PowerPoint, it was $8. It's at eight seventy-five today. So if you had bought yeah. this Monday when I created the PowerPoint slide, you would have made $0.75 cents per share by today. Wow. Which is not That's bad. That's good money. The last one, and this is one that I actually have a good bit of holdings in, is Liberty All Star Equity Funds. It's five fifty three mm-hmm. per share. They offer a two percent dividend, which doesn't seem like a lot, but this one has low volatility, which means it's not going to just go crazy, jump up and down. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> it's going to. They own a lot of funds in one. Facebook, okay. Alphabet. So it's a way to buy into a fund that owns other stocks you might want to buy later on. I got you. Well, guys, we hope you have enjoyed the planting the money tree today. We're planting that tree. And then well, hopefully it's growing. You know, I planted a tree when my daughter was born. Magnolia. How, how big is that tree now? 
It's really tall. And you see the growth. And I that's what you do. It took time, right? And I mow around it every week. It takes time, but with care, watering, and some fertilize, that tree will be great. Just like your wallet will grow. <laughs> Guys, we thank you so much. Use the envelopes. Use the envelopes. Where are mine? I've got them right here. I need to fill them like out. Like us on Facebook. Gasoline, that kind of stuff. Y'all have a great week. Hope you'll tune in again next time. See Thank ya. Thank you. Bye-bye.